Hi everyone. Right, today we're going to be looking at uh, lettering. So I'm going to do a, a quick sketch of how to maybe draw a bubble letter. A um, really simple technique using the classroom. Um, so I'll quickly go through that with you now. Um, very light pressure, sharp pencil. Um, I'm using a rotring um, graphic pencil here, but if you've just a regular pencil, if you're using a regular pencil, just uh, make sure it's nice and sharp. And very light pressure, as I say. And we're just going to sketch out the basic shape. I'm going to do a K. So we're just going to very, very lightly sketch the shape of the letter that you want. Like so. And again, it's very, very light, almost to the point where I wouldn't need to worry about uh, rubbing out because I make a mistake because it is so light. So a nice light pressure. I'm doing it slightly darker than we do normally, actually, just so you can see it on the video. And once you get your basic shape in, the really easy thing to do is just to draw around it. So we're just going to do an outline around the whole letter. Again, being nice and careful. Notice how I'm sketching it. So it's a sketch is basically just a light broken line. That's how I describe it anyway. Like that, and I can put a little bit of curve at the bottom there just to make it a bit more interesting on the letter here. And then you've got a choice when you finish that. Put a little curve in there as well. You can either rub out the centre of the letter there that you don't need anymore, and which I'll do in a moment, or you can leave that in. And actually, when you're colouring it, sometimes that helps, and you can do different colours in there, or you can do different shade and give it a three dimensional effect. So I'm just rubbing out the middle now. I don't need that anymore today. I've decided I don't need it anyway. So you can leave that in if you want to, but I'm just rubbing that out. <laughs> okay. Next thing now is we're just going to go around the letter again because I'm happy with that shape. Go around again and just because I'm happy with it, just make it a little bit darker, a bit bolder. Okay. We'll get on with that. And I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, next I've had um, children ask me at school about making this into three dimensions. So again, it's a very simple way of doing it. You decide which angle you want to go at, but you just put in the same distance, sorry, the same length line and the same angle from each of the corners from your, of your letter. Okay, so just concentrate on making sure these angles are all roughly the same. You can measure them if you wanted to with a protractor, but you don't necessarily need to just eye it in if you want to do that. And then all you're doing is basically copying the shapes of the letter there, like that, okay? So basically joining those up, and again, I haven't got a ruler, I'm just gonna do it freehand, I'm, I don't wanna do that straight line without just putting it in first, so I'm just laying it in with a nice light line, sketch the line in, you see how I'm working? I'm trying to do it in a solid straight line, too complicated doing that. When you're happy you've got the basic shape, just go over it, make it slightly darker. You still start to look a bit more three-dimensional now. So again, those angles are important, make sure they're all the same, and then just basically join them all up. Sounds very simple. I promise you, the only way you're going to get better at this is if you practice it, okay? Now this one here is a tricky one, this curve. If I'm going off that angle, I'm probably not going to see too much of that. And that angle there is pretty much the same as that one. So you wouldn't see the angle in this letter. If you try and force it in, it'll look wrong anyway. You would see a slight one where I put that little curve in before that you're watching. That slight angle there... You see a little bit of that, it's just going to copy the little angle shape in here. Don't you can see that? I just curve that in like so. That should look okay. All right, okay. Um, done a few more letters in here. I haven't finished the name yet, but um, done a few more letters. I want to work on the K very quickly, so we're just going to do some color rendering now. Notice how they're nice and sharp. Okay, I'm going to start with a darker pencil. Um, I might just leave, actually, I'm going to leave a little white border on that just because it looks quite smart. We'll see, I may put it in later. Okay, nice short strokes. I tend to go different directions when I'm doing this. Another direction I want to head in, and I go back and forwards. We're trying to fill in those gaps. And again, not scribbling it in. Take your time when you're doing it. I rotate my pencil as well a little bit to keep that nice sharp tip on it because you'll find it'll flatten out as you're working. As the colour goes on the paper, it'll flatten out. And as you're going down, um, just rotate your pencil every now and again. You'll see me doing that naturally. It's a good tip to try and do that if you if you want to give that a try. And again, every now and again, just stop and sharpen your pencil when you need to. I'm starting to just I'm basically trying to communicate with my hand now. So I'm thinking, okay, hand, release the pressure a little bit on the pencil. And you do need to talk to yourself a little bit when you're doing this. Um, again, it's getting lighter and lighter. So I get the bottom. There should be hardly any colour in that at all. 
also about just leaving the paper so you can hear it's probably le less less noise as well on the paper as you're working okay i'm happy with that there now i'll change colors i'm going to go for an orange so it's a dark red there going into an orange you're going to start at the top just going over it i'm just going to gradually bring that orange pencil down so we've got a nice blend of color so i'm working over the top again nice and short rotate my pencil get the tip on it it's much more satisfying much more much easier to use keep that nice tip on your pencil okay i'm going to go into a yellow so sort of finish off some overlapping with a yellow pencil now overlapping all the way through and coming back i love yellow just brightens everything up gives everything a little bit of sunshine and then just finish off the bottom like that you should have a lovely blend on your pencil work okay Okay, I'm just going to come back to this, but I've just same thing, colour in here. Now I've just tried to over overlap it in here. Basically, what you're going to have to do is just again come in the bit that you want to work, blend it into, and just gradually bring it out from there. So you're basically, you're basically doing an overlap on that, just in case you're going different directions, just soften it in. Okay, and again, I've got a little bit of yellow there. I'll try the orange, a bit of orange in it, and I've got a little bit of yellow. Try this one again, just to brighten it in. Just see a little line in there, I don't know if you can see on the on the video, so I'll just there uh, again just come over that and soften that in. And then from there I'm gonna work down in this direction. And again I'm leaving a little white outline on the on my shading because I think it looks quite nice. I'm gonna do the rest of it in there, I think it'll look quite smart that. Just to make it pop a little bit off the paper. Um these pencils are quite good. Um the Derwin pencils I've got, I'm lucky enough to have a tin a tin of those if, yeah, my studio, but I'm finding the classroom pencils that I've, I'm using at the minute in class are fantastic. They're beryl, very thin ones, they're really, really lovely colour uh, that I'm using with the children in class. They're fantastic. Um, and I just I just think the colour, the way the colour lays in on the paper at schools, it's, it's lovely. Getting some really good colours from it and it's, they're really nice to use as well, really comfortable, easy to apply the colours to. So they're fantastic, beryl, very thin. So again, so I'm just going back to my yellow. Laying that over the top of there. Did forget the orange, so I'll come back with a bit of orange. It's difficult actually when I'm talking. There's a tip for you as well. When you're in class and you, and you want to do some lovely work, I do struggle to concentrate and get some really good quality work when I'm talking. So there's a top tip for you. If you want to be a really good art student, less less chit chat, more focus, and your work will really be a little bit better, I think. Um, so just something to think about as well practicalities of working. One thing at a time, do one thing really well, I think. Okay, and again, I might just come to the edge then, just put a little bit of bright in against that white, that white into a yellow, which just really makes that sort of stand out and pop off the paper, which is really cool. Okay, so that's basically a little bit of 3D lettering work there, a couple of tips within that, and also just a little bit of colour rendering. Basically different directions, very short uh, strokes with your pencil, and basically uh, just be neat and tidy and think about what you're doing. Stop every now and again, have a little think about it. Okay, take your time, um, don't scribble, nice short smooth strokes when you're doing it and keep your pencil sharp because it's much easier to apply the colour with sharp pencil. Okay, give it a shot.